Arts Development Council Chairman Kenneth Falk says it has to review its funding mechanism to lower the risk of breaching the national security law. This comes after the Hong Kong Federation of Drama Societies was informed that the council will not be subsidizing its annual award ceremony after doing so since 1999. The decision followed the council's review of last year's ceremony. Courage was the theme of the show after which there were complaints that its content had damaged the council's reputation. A further blow came when the Leisure and Cultural Services Department said it would not sponsor a venue for this year's Hong Kong Drama Awards. Last year's ceremony was held at the Kwai Ting Theatre. Lawmaker Tik Chi Yun expressed concern over political censorship and urged the Arts Development Council to respond. I think this is not a normal procedure. Certainly, without any warning to stop the subsidy, it is, it is not our experience. So I think that it is another red line. We expect the government or any department to explain why this kind of action. It is not only an uh, administrative procedure, it is a political judgment. Tick is concerned that the pressure would prompt many people involved in arts and culture to give up. Sources suspect that the Federation triggered a controversy over its choice of presenters for one award last year. They were reporter Bao Choi, who made a documentary about the 2019 Yunlong attack, and political cartoonist Dun Zi. The Federation will meet the press tomorrow to outline its plans for this year's drama awards. Janice Yu, Cable News.